I spy. I spy with my little eye a painting of a blue open sky. Toothpaste, toothbrush, soap, the colorful flowers mom puts in my hair. I spy with my little eye a bright pink bottle that I've never seen. A woman shiny and unblinking. Two rows of plastic snowflakes smile back at me. Her skin is smooth and fair like a porcelain princess. I spy of my little eye, my reflection in the foggy mirror. Every dark spot, every beauty mark. I squeeze the bottle, the cool liquid falls like soft serve ice cream. The smell consumes the room like bleachy pool water. It stings my nostrils. I rub it in my hands, on my face, and wait. Maybe if I look more like her, the kids will stop making jokes. It burns. A thousand electric fire ants march across my face. I try to wash it out with water, but it burns even more. I spy with my little eye, the princess on the pink bottle. Formula of rich and B keratin, vitamin A and E, in order to make your skin light and full, flat and smooth. <laughs> no pain, no gain, you're getting darker, just makes you lighter. To be fair and lovely like me, but you want to be prettier, but you want to look like them. If you love yourself enough, you just give in. Jennifer, what are you doing? You're strong and sweet, marvelous and magnificent. I spy with my little eye, my reflection in the mirror. A girl with fire in her palms and sunlight in her hair. She is bright and warm and proud. No amount of cream, no amount of makeup can change who she truly is. I spy, I spy with my little eye, a beautiful black princess. Hi, my name is Jenna Kasiyama. I'm 20 years old. I like writing poetry and curating spaces for myself. When I was young, I was one of the only few darker skinned girls in my class. And I was compared to like burnt toast or dirt on somebody's shoe or the, the most famous one was, turn off the lights, where's Jen? Everyone cackles. I believe there's a lot of psychological trauma that comes with colorism that people don't talk about. It's a lot of weight. When I was younger, I didn't see myself anywhere on TV, billboards, you know what I mean? If Black women are portrayed in the media, it's in a negative um, setting. And I realized that as I got older, even in the industry, they want Black women to be strong, but they don't want them to be confident. So every single day I wake up and I choose myself. I wake up and look in the mirror and I say, this is me, this is my skin. And I realized that every single day I had to wake up and choose to love myself rather than um, let somebody else wear me down.